Hi everyone, welcome to episode 17 of our Race to Dakar 2020 series with Team Races to Places. Both tyres, front and rear, must have an E mark or DOT, so it has to be road legal. E, e mark. E or DOT has to be road legal, and the front tyre that he used is a NHS, not for high wages. This is the rules. No, no, and, I know. And for, and, for, and for Paolo, who I understand, Paolo is a fast rider, we have some good racing together and everything. You know, there's nothing against him. It's just the rules. And the and the Okay, thanks. That's gonna shit so shit come down there, isn't it? It's a really difficult situation here at Africa Race. Um, I, I don't know how to explain it, but basically um, the guy that I've been racing with for most of the race, um, Paolo Lucci, who is a great guy and we've had some really great battles out on the stage. Uh, but um, he's, been, he's been using an illegal tyre, which is a motocross tyre, which is not for highway use. And the FIM regulations clearly state that you have to have an E-marked or DOT-marked tyre. Um, now, you know, if everyone used a sand tyre or a motocross tyre uh, in a stage like that, then of course it's an advantage. And uh, the, something, you know, we had the issue with the roadbook uh, marking on stage Seven, I think it was. I think it was stage seven, where I said about it in a previous episode that you know it was disappointing that I lost my third place because the organisation made a roadbook change, and the this particular rider that was using these tyres, uh, Paolo, um, made 30 minutes on me because he didn't put the roadbook changes in his roadbook. Um, that felt like it was a big disadvantage for me because we've been finishing the same in each stage. But I let it go for the spirit of the rally and said, you know, I'm just going to leave it and I'll just try and naturally catch my time back up. But then when I saw on the start line this morning that he had illegal tyres on, it just felt like, well, where do you draw the line? You know, how, how, how much do you just keep leaving it? And, you know, I feel bad for going and putting a protest in against it, but this is motorsport and it's not like we're fighting for like 30th and 31st place this is the difference between being on the podium and not being on the podium and in any other motorsport event around the world be it Dakar be it a British Championship World Championship European Championship um, I can almost guarantee even my local events in the UK you have to use DOT or E-Mark tires and if you're not you will be excluded or you will be penalized and this is a big rally and it's been an absolutely awesome rally and I don't want to change that for anything um, but I just want the rally to be fair and want it to be run under FAM rules and regulations which it has been done so um, I believe yeah everybody's on a level playing field I think it's good for the rally uh, the FAM stewards have been really uh, discussing it with me and trying to understand everything make sure we get it all right and it seems that they now understand my protest and um, they agree with it and so I've now got my money back from the protest because you have to give 660 euros to do a protest they give me money back which means basically you've won the protest and then they have to think of the appropriate penalty because I personally don't want to see Paolo Lucci excluded from the race um, it's just he has to, him and the team have to apply have to abide by the FM regulations to make it a fair playing field and that's it so difficult end to an already busy day and it's already late and I haven't had my dinner yet but um, that's what's happened so um, that's it nothing more to say dude hey just getting my hydration pack ready for tomorrow this is uh, the hydration packs that we're all using in Juristan Linden Hydration Pack or Linden Hydro Pack and what I do is uh, fill it with water and then I put these um, SAS Sport electrolytes 
in it. So we've got a bit of strawberry and lime. Linden's Hurricane Hydro Pack from Enduristan is available from dealers around the world or you can order directly from lindenposkitracing.com. Water. The number here? I, I, no, no, I don't no. know. I, I no. don't know. I don't know. I don't there know. Is, there is, there is a I don't know. There is a I don't know. I, there is a photo in the bivouac of my bike with the number. Then now the number is gone. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. Sorry. Sorry. You can see scratching. This is not acceptable. You work at the for day. In the park permit. Park permit should be secure. Écoute, je sais pas. Bon, on a No, but, but somebody has done it in there. Yeah, same. I'm just. Just. Yeah, no. They, they ask me. They ask me. No, no. I understand. They ask me if I change the engine. Yes, we. No. Somebody in there rub the number out and then tell you I change the engine. Someone's drilled our van tire, haven't they? A little bit of uh, bad sportsmanship from somebody in the bivouac. Um, yeah, put a drill in the van tire. Clearly, I I drove the van here, obviously. Yeah, and it was fine. Well, you don't just get a hole in the side wall like that. Well, uh, and I were in and out of the van because I was charging my phone and getting my drink sorted out. Oh, yeah. The tire was fine, but I noticed it lower. Yeah. Uh, while we've been working on the bikes, Ivan went to bed about midnight, half past 12, something like that. And he says, oh, you've got a flat tire up front. Blew it up, and as I'm blowing it up, I can hear it. And so, I, and then I found it. And it's clearly obvious what it is. You can see the drill markers have gone in. Yeah. 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 And it wouldn't take two seconds for him to do it. You just, and it's done. Last day. Feels a bit surreal. How long is your liaison? 200 kilometers. Three. Far out. Right. That's a bit much. Then we got a 20 kilometer special stage down the beach, which I think just is a show off kind of thing. So naturally, you're gonna pin it. <coughs> get down the beach and then get to Dakar for the grand finale party. A couple of brewskis for the boys. I talked to the doctor last night about Joey and uh, they said they didn't think any was, it was anything particularly life-threatening and we were hoping he'd be here when we woke up this morning but unfortunately he's not so he won't be starting off with us this morning. Uh, we hope to see him in Dakar. Really disappointed what happened. Uh, cheers Joey. I hope you get better real quick.
Okay, I literally just had the craziest night of my life. Um, yesterday, just after lunch on the liaison, I uh, hit a camel. Um, it was one of those who just ran out, had no time, um, and I went down really hard. I was unconscious. Um, then I was medevaced out in the chopper, which dropped me off in an ambulance, um, one of the ambulance vehicles. And then we did a drive of, I don't know how long, it must have been six or seven hours on dirt roads and off-road tracks and stuff to get to the, to cross the border, to get to the hospital um, in St. Louis, Senegal, where it was this crazy government hospital that we got to. And, uh, and then um, we didn't know what was wrong. And so there's a whole list of things that was wrong. Part of it was my whole head needed stitching up. Um, but uh, but all I've got to do today is ride 22 kilometers on the beach with all these injuries. Gonna, gonna do this to you again. Yeah. Yo everyone, we thought um, we'd film a day in the life of the media crew and show you everything that we get up to. So here we go. Yo, what is up? <laughs> hey, you sound there, you know, come on. Doing any work? Why aren't you editing, Andy? Just having a lunch break. Having a lunch break. What have you got there? Pretzels. Nice. It's got to be the <laughs> road I've ever been on. Yeah, ever. It's that bumpy. It's made me moody. Best thing we brought on this trip, easily.
And it's finally here, Dakar, 20 kilometers that way. We're going to the real Dakar after all these years. Dakar! a dream to make it to Dakar <laughs> since I was like 10 years old and I'm here <laughs> well done mate this is Dakar this is Dakar yes
be here. It's been a long road. Just arrived in Dakar. Everybody's here, even Joey. Uh, he made it. Super stoked to be here. Uh, this has been quite an adventure. Really excited to have been part of it. Lyndon put together a heck of a team. Just everything was incredible. I mean, great group of people to have been around, and I wouldn't change it for anything. interested in this race but a little bit skeptical uh, but they really put on a tough race this time and it was legitimate and I think that's really important for the race and the future of it and I wish it all the best because the whole organization the media people the medical people the organizers everybody that's been involved in the whole race even the competitors and the family and friends of everybody it's just been a really special time and you know things have happened at this race that I would only expect to happen in my home. It's that friendly, so I really can't say enough good things about it. I couldn't have done what I did without my team. Um, the other riders that all made it here to Dakar, um, the service crew that worked through the night to fix the bikes and maintain them and run on lack of sleep, looking after everything, and then the media guys that put the amazing series together that I haven't even watched yet. I've seen little clips of it, but I can't wait to sit down and watch it. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, it's been an incredible experience and I'm gonna go and watch it soon. So until the next crazy adventure, um, it's time to go party. Yeah, for all of us to have made it and got to the podium, it's just, you know, that was part of the dream. Along the way, there were so many ups and downs. I mean, some of it you couldn't script. The fact that Joey and I hit a camel in the second to last stage, unbelievable. But all of us here at Lac Rose, I mean, this was it, the real race to Dakar, and it's just so awesome to be here. Thanks for everyone who supported us, followed us, sponsored us. It's just been amazing. Thank you very much. I think, you know, after uh, riding down the beach and, and finally getting to Lac Rose and, and um, you know, we're sitting there at the finish line in Dakar and then to turn around and see Joey Evans show up with a plastic bag on his head was, was a pretty special moment. Um, you know, it, it had been such a long, hard, gruelling race for all of us to be there. It was a pretty special moment and, and to get up on that podium and, and, you know, come away with Lynn and getting a third. I think we couldn't have asked for, for much more. Like, we smashed it, man. We absolutely smashed it. So, I don't know. It's left me hungry for more, I tell you. And I know it's, I think there's gonna be lots of ideas floating around and I'm pretty sure uh, you can be seeing more of the team and races to places. So, let's uh, bring it on. On to the next one. Yeah, never thought this would have happened. I thought we'd have at least one or two DNS. The attrition rate here has been pretty high and we've got everybody across the podium, which is just a stunning result for us in Motrex and Ejuristan and team races to places. Man, those last, those last 22 Ks, I just kept saying to myself, 22 Ks, 22 Ks, 22 Ks. I can do 22 Ks, man. And you know, I was just, man, I was just in tears, to be honest, I was in so much pain. It was pretty tough. I was heading by the waves, trying to, trying to keep on the, on the harder sand and just managed to hack my way through. And I got to that finish line and I stopped and I just put my head down on my bars and just cried, man, I was in so much pain. But it was important to finish. You know, it, it, you know I guess I'm one of those guys that it, it 
means a lot to finish and it means a lot to quit. To cross that finish line and then, and then to be able to go over the podium with all my teammates, you know, with Lyndon, with Matt, with Mike, with Greg and me and then all the support guys, you know, the guys who have fixed the bikes and stayed up all night, you know, just, just such an awesome, an awesome team to be a part of. But to ride up there and to, to get the finish with the guys and to get the medal hung over your, your neck and things was just, wow. It was a, a really, really wow moment. I drifted around it all Just squares and circles Right, well here we are at the end and uh, all I can say is to get 12 guys to work together so amazing, man. It's brilliant. All our thoughts and dreams Feelings that I need here. I'm